Now let's talk about cone clutch with uniform wear. So the diagram remains the same, the mathematics changes. So for a uniform wear condition, this is the relation which is Pn into R is equal to constant. So means your normal pressure is inversely proportional to the radius. So your normal load remains the same, your axial load remains the same. Okay, instead your Pn would be substituted for 2 pi of or you can say c by r. So you will get 2 pi c into dr which is almost analogous to what you have in the single plate clutch. Okay, so the total axial load would be an integral and this is what you get. Again, a huge resemblance with the single plate clutch. Okay, so note down this formula and note down this formula. All right, the frictional force on the ring, again it is the same mu into dwn. Okay. So your frictional torque would be df into r, you get the same value. Instead, you have a different substitution for pn, which is c upon r. Okay, so your integral would result in such a condition, that is this. All right, now what is C? C is this, so W upon 2 pi into R2 minus R1, I'll put it over here, okay, so you can see you have W over here and pi are gone, okay, so you have this which is R2 minus R1 into R1 plus R2, so R1 plus R2 will remain and the negative and the subtraction term would be cancelled off, so you just have this. Again you can see your mean radius is R1 plus R2 and which is almost which is exactly the same as the single blade clutch instead you have an extra term of cosecant alpha. Okay, so make a note of this. Now if you move ahead you can see that the mean radius is R1 plus R2 by 2 which is exactly the same as the uniform wear condition in the single blade clutch. Okay, now the frictional torque. It, we can also write it down like this. All right. So the axial force required to engage the clutch is this. This is the engagement force, which is W, which is the axial force plus mu into W when cos alpha. That's the frictional force required. So make a note of this mathematical term as well. So this is the topic of cone clutch under uniform wear. So after single plate clutch and cone clutch, let's have a look at some numericals.